49's coming out, you're going to be looking at Finley. I can't believe that that was not called a pin. 141, they missed a pinfall. So it is 6 to 2. And we have Josh Weimer coming out. Weimer going to be taking on the old tilt machine himself. Through my little giant. Trey Grind. Look out for Trey Grind. Got going in the NCAA title. He's pretty good. He's explosive. Weimer. This is Josh Weimer. So Josh Weimer out for Finley. Grind gets on top. A look out, folks. Last shot there. Grind. So right now, Ryan takes a shot, deep shot, looking to pick Weimer up. He is, does going to pick him up. Steps through and looking for and Weimer. Going to catch Ryan, maybe a bad spot. Ryan recovers. Ryan, the state runner up, the three mile little giant, local, down the road, 20 miles, maybe. Maybe, not even 20 miles. Just north, right on Route 53. Grind, a transfer from Edinburgh, Pennsylvania. And off the mat, we're going to restart. Ryan will have another year left after this year, so. He'll be back in a dragon single. So grind will cover. Josh Weimer underneath. Grind sucks him back. Weimer to his feet. Nice return by Grind. Trey Grind going to work here on top. 105 left here in the first. His ride time now up over a minute. And Ziffen with a huge win at 141 in overtime where there was a pinfall not called. No continuation. Bizarre stoppage of a match where there should have been a pin called. Skenesny buried. And Grind not going to go to ride Reimer any longer, but he does have 122 rides in. Two and lead, 38 seconds remains here. First period Trey Grind. Josh Weimer, Weimer of it. Finley in the red. Brian in the green. So this is your 149 pound matchup. Finley taking on Tiffin. GMAC duels brought to you by Defense Oak. Defense Oak, defend what you built. Great Midwest Athletic Conference 2019. Inaugural dual championship. Five teams, one team did not make it due to inclement weather. Kyle Valley not here. So, Brian's choice, he defers. When we're going to go underneath immediately to start the second down to one to trade. Brian, Brian with a buck 22, a ride time as well. Brian covers. Ryan has tuck pinned everybody. And Weimer, big sexy here so far. He's not battling it. Now looking to hip heist out. Kind of looking almost to pull him back with a crab ride. And he's going to spin out, turn in. It's Weimer. Looks like Ryan's probably going to cut him loose here. He's going to have to. He's going to get dinged for stalling. No, he's going to try and pull him into that tilt he likes. So Weimer just sitting out in the sit-out position. And Brian did a nice job check follow. I don't like the reach over with the right arm, but so stinking athletic, he's able to follow him. But Weimer is able to come up and out. We're going to have a 2 foul, but not after Trey Grind adds another almost minute to his ride time. 2.09 on the ride time, 2 2 bout with Grind holding 2 minutes 9 seconds ride time. We're out, one minute remains, and they're going to get blood. 
We're gonna get the blood. Blood cleanup. Ryan, while we're talking to the coaches, getting all cleaned up. So your dual score six to two in favor of <coughs> Finley and Roughnecks. Oilers, Roughneck, whatever you want to call them. Ryan, two two bout, State runner up. Fremont Ross, Little Giants. I might add, the home of the greatest college football player of all time. Charles Woodson, if you didn't know. He only played like 21 years in the NFL at defensive back. That's hard to do. Brian, Tutu Bout, Weimer. We've got two Weimers here. This is Josh. James will follow. So we're trying to get the blood cleaned up. Some, some defense soap wipes. Defend what you built there, Coach Nelson. I like that. I'm going to go back to action. 2 2 about one minute remains. GMAC Championships 2019. Looking at Trey Grind, Tiffin University. Taking on Jess Weimer, Weimer, Finley, Roughnecks. Ryan in the green, he's got the right knee sleeve on. Him and Weimer are tied at two. Half shot there, counter half shot. When I say half shot, I mean they're not even getting to the legs. No one's even grabbing a leg, they're slapping legs. That's a half shot. 20 seconds remains, Brian Weimer here. 149. And Ryan tries to pull the trigger on a shot there. Weimer clears him out. And five seconds left. And choice going to the third. Ryan, he's going to go neutral, not even going to let Weimer try and get on top. He does hold 209 ride time, so he has effectively a 3 2 lead on the board. So Weimer got to go get a takedown and, and ride out. Take down and 110 a ride time. Or just straight up hold him down the rest of the, the, rest of the uh, match. But at 109, Brian will have another point locked up here. It's about to go in the bank here in 15 seconds. So Weimer gotta go get it. Ryan has a stall to give. That means he can give a stall point. He can give a stall and not give a point. Two stalls he cannot give. So there's the ride time. is locked up for Trey Grind. He effectively has 3-2 on the board. Even though it's not on the board. If I'm Ryan, I'm hanging out a little bit. I don't mind. And Weimer's got to try and score. Ryan is not He's advancing forward with an underhook. So actually tries to ankle pick him. And I like this. This is called smart wrestling, folks. And there's a headlock attempt by Weimer. And Brian not going for it. It was in the body, but clears him. 30 seconds. He could have iced it with a takedown, but he's smart. Doesn't need to take the risk. Shot at top Weimer. Weimer hasn't even been close to taking Grind down. So Grind off the strength of an early takedown and a ride out is gonna win this thing three to two. It might not be pretty, but it's effective. It's called winning, folks. So Trey Grind, three, two, win against Weimer, and he gives it to the Finley bench a little bit. I don't even mind. So 6-5 out after that.